and Hansen's going to slide behind him. We're either going to go towards the Joker. Ekstrom straight to the Joker that round the outside. And Solberg's gone too. Yes, I think it was the best move for both of them. Backward is leading Monster Energy Supercharger Wall going to Andreas Backward. First into turn one. Hansen on the brakes. Little tap into the back of Backward. Almost loses it on the brakes. He's going to try and now drag him down towards turn one. Hansen's car is quick, but Backward is in front of him. Aren't they going to send him to the Joker? See if they can get him back out in front of Matthias Ekstrom. They don't. Hansen He's holding holds him up on. now. He's holding Hans him up. Hansen's got the pace. But the problem was he couldn't have jokered because he'd have come out in the traffic and a big fight with Ekstrom and Pedder. Very difficult to know, isn't it? Could be if Hansen had gone then, maybe he'd have come out in front of Ekstrom and Solberg. If they wait and Ekstrom and Solberg catch up with these guys, he's done. I mean, Hansen trying to have a look up the inside. He's got such good traction through here. Ekstrom and Solberg don't seem to be closing down the gap at the back. He's pretty consistent. I just don't know when they send Hansen. Is Hansen going to go this lap? He's not. He doesn't go again. Hakenen in fourth place is possibly holding up Ekstrom and Solberg. All the while that Hakenen holds him up, he goes to the Joker now. He might release those two, and he does. Yes, Hakenen goes to the Joker. Needed. So Ekstrom and Solberg now can try and chase the front three down. Backer at Hansen, Nittish at the front. The X at the bottom of your screen means they haven't jokered yet. Hakenen's X is about to change to a tick. Hansen up the inside into Velodrome. Brilliant move from the Swede. The crowd have gone nuts for that. Hansen has gone up the inside of Backer. He leads now. Susan Hansen can't believe it. They're looking out the spotters tower. The front headlights missing. It was a tight move. What do you think, Guy? Oh, I think it was a great move. Great move. Hansen over the jump. He's defending hard from backward. He's now got to gap Ekstrom in the background by enough time to be able to get back out in front of him on the joker lap. The front three haven't jokered yet. Nietzsche's just fallen back to Solberg. Solberg is now lying, I think, in fourth place. I hope Timmy Hansen didn't do that a lap too late because he had a chance to do that the lap earlier as well. Over the jump and away. Backward into oh, the joker. made a mistake. Ekstrom. Petter makes a mistake in the background. Good spot, Guy Wilkes. Ekstrom gets out in front of backward. So the only man now not to a joker is Timmy Hansen. He's got to go hard and fast on this last lap to try and make enough of a gap to do it. Can he, Guy Wilkes? Can he do it or not? Well, he's going to be I'm tight. Not so sure. I'm not so sure Ekstrom has just been going slowly about his business. He's chasing down Hansen. We can see them from the competition now. Look, as they come over the jump, you'll see Ekstrom in the background. Hansen backs it in big time. Ekstrom's going to chase him down. It's going to come down to the Joker that merge. Here we go. Hansen has the Joker this time. It's the last lap. Solberg's off. Solberg's off. He's in the gravel. His run of podiums is over. The world champion is off in the gravel. Into the Joker that goes Hansen. He's wide. wide. Hansen's wide. Ekstrom's going to do this. Ekstrom oh, in front of Hansen. Ekstrom in front of Hansen. Brilliant job, Matthias Ekstrom. He won here last year. It was a win for EKSR Rex. I think he's going to do it again, Guy. A game over for Hansen. Yeah, I think so. I think that, uh, yeah, the gap, look at it now, you know. Go Ekstrom on. did a fantastic job Go to the Joker first lap. Great job, Matthias Ekstrom. Played the tactics right. Sweeps around the right-hander. He's going to come up over the jump. The Swedish flags are flying outside the competition. Hansen on the inside on the final corner. Hansen's going to take it. Unfortunately for Hansen, the FIA stewards looked into the last corner incident with Matthias Ekstrom and decided that Hansen was guilty of pushing and driving outside the track. In the end, the punishment for this was demotion to second place. This year I felt we had it all in the bag until the last corner. And um, I said after, we're not pleased with the, what I felt. Then when I saw the TV pictures, I think it wasn't uh, correct. And um, everybody said, you should go and protest. And I said, I'm not protesting never do again in my whole life if the stewards is not uh, taking decisions by themselves that's uh, their call and uh, now they said okay he will get a penalty and uh, now it plays out that i won so i'm pretty happy that they also set the level of the bar how we should race and winning is always winning the decision has been overturned what's your feelings about that yeah i don't feel uh, I don't, obviously, I don't feel great about that. I had, I've been with the stewards in the steward room and we had discussed this. And they have decided to swap the places, so Timmy is second and Matthias win. He was not aiming to hit Matthias. Uh, he had a different angle on the car, so they were almost side by side when they really touched. And for me, that is, that is rallycross. And it, as long as you don't push each other off the track, it's good rallycross. And I know definitely Timmy will not drive that way. So for me, it's a strange decision. Well, here are the revised Drivers' Championship standings after that decision. Petter Solberg continuing to lead from Christofferson, Baccarat and Hansen. Nitish, Janay, Ekstrom and Hakenen are your top eight. 
The second eight include P.G. Anderson, Larson Stoll, Linnera Timozyanov, Mark Gundoran and Tanner Faust. In the team's championship, Ford MSC in first place. Team Peugeot Hansen closing that gap down though. SDRX still in the fight as well as Volkswagen Team Sweden and VW Mark and Motorsport. It's going to be a fight to the end of the season.